Walking down a supermarket aisle these days means you have to decide between cage-free, free-range, pasture-raised, local, organic, vegetarian-fed, hormone-free, certified humane, and most of us aren't turning vegan anytime soon, and that's not the purpose of this video, but we have this idea, this initiative of wanting the chickens that lay our delicious breakfast eggs to be treated well during their lives, to live happy chicken lives. And that's what these labels were supposed to be, but they're absolutely not that, so What's the catch? This is the lifespan of a backyard hen. We're using backyard hens as comparison because it's the standard that we know and the way chickens have lived for thousands of years as an animal in a small farm. Most flocks will produce eggs until they're about six years old, starting at about 20 weeks of age. And yes, of course, this is very different from what happens in the wild. Over generations, chickens have been selectively bred to lay more eggs than the OG wild chicken. Or was it an OG egg? Anyway, in the wild, seasons also affect how many eggs a chicken would lay, but on a farm, there's more food, there's regulated temperature, and that of course influences it, so chickens lay eggs all year. Either way, those of us who eat eggs are mostly okay imagining chickens living in this environment, but factory farms are vastly different. Chickens have a terrible life on farms. Many live in battery cages, and so this trend of awareness over so many of these practices has prompted people to look for more humanely raised animals. And yes, these labels, again, were supposed to be an answer to that, but careful, almost tricky wording has let these companies get away with this stuff. So here's the catch with cage-free eggs. Cage-free is an official USDA label, but it just means that hens don't live in battery cages but they still live and they're still raised in this giant cage. That right there is an official certified cage-free chicken facility. And it sucks. These facilities often have more hen-on-hen -hen violence and lower air quality than facilities that do use battery cages. But being cage-free absolutely does not mean that they can go outside, because for that you need to upgrade to free range. But here's the catch with free range. The USDA requirement for free range is that hens have some access to the outdoors. It doesn't mean that they go outside on a mountain on the land. It doesn't mean that they have space that is nicer, that it even has soil. It might just be a small fenced area that may only be open for a few minutes every day. Okay, so maybe we should go with organic. No. Organic's main requirement is forbidding antibiotics, but it has nothing to do with how the chickens live. Okay, so maybe pasture-raised? No. Now here's the catch with pasture-raised. This is not an official USDA label, so it's not regulated. It implies that animals grow with access to a pasture, but there's currently an unresolved class action lawsuit against two egg companies, Happy Egg Co. and Vital Farms, precisely around the pasture-raised label. And this reveals the biggest problem with the label, which is that its definition is unregulated. Nobody is certifying or checking what each farm considers as pasture raised. And the resolution of these lawsuits will decide if the hens are actually pasture raised or not. But for now, eh, the label is a bit open to interpretation for each individual company. Okay, so what do we do? Some alternatives. There are three in particular. Animal Welfare Approved, Certified Humane, and Global Animal Partnership but they still have catches. Now, first of all, these are much harder to find, probably pricier, and most importantly, the label itself doesn't guarantee the ideal conditions for hens. Okay, so let me explain. For example, free range plus certified humane, that's good, like this carton. But you might also find a carton that is certified humane without the free range or pasture raised tag, in which case there is no guarantee that hens had any outdoor access. Animal Welfare Certified has five different categories, and so you wanna be aiming for category four or category five. And then the Animal Welfare Approved label is the simplest of them all. It really guarantees that pretty much every reasonable benefit for hens has been taken into account. Now here's a table for what all these labels mean. And then farms are audited about once a year, and overall it looks like a massive step in the right direction. Now, finding animal welfare approved eggs is not easy. Many are small farms that operate out of farmer's markets. The closest I've found to New York that had online sales was this one, where a dozen eggs are $8.50. Now there's a convenience slash availability question. How far out of your way do you wanna go? Do you want cheap eggs 
or do you want happier hens? As consumers, we need to understand that sometimes cheaper means at the mercy of someone, and in this case, well, at the mercy of chickens. Now, the vegans may eventually convince the majority of the planet to join them, but if that ever happens, it's probably decades away. Maybe we can find a lab-made replacement for that creamy, delicious, sunny-side-up egg in the morning, like we did with diamonds, but this one, unfortunately, just doesn't do it for me. In the meantime, if you can't afford it, and if you care, put in the extra buck. Just don't give it to the wrong label, like natural. That's the most meaningless, marketing label in the book, just don't be fooled. Also, don't be fooled by vegan leather because it's absolutely not what you think. It is really just plastic. We made a whole video about it. Catch you on the next one.